So Keith, tell me, why did you establish Sporters? Well, you remember when we were working together on the Olympic bid, we came across lots of these clubs. Uh, they're small, they're local, they know the kids in the local area. And I saw firsthand the impact they had on young people. But I was also taken with uh, how much they were very much on their own. And I thought that if we put together something like Sport in a national organisation that could provide mentors, could provide money, could uh, provide help and advice, that would help them grow and, uh, and become more sustainable. One of the unique things about Sport is the mentor system. How does that work? Well, we have, I think, over 250 now business mentors. They're right across the country. We have 12 regional managers that they work with. And we deploy these uh, mentors to specific clubs to help them grow their businesses. Essentially, these little clubs are all little businesses. They need help with uh, maybe leases, raising money, equipment. And our, our business mentors help these guys do just that. They focus on running the club, and our mentors help grow the club. Talk about the power of sport to, to reach young people, perhaps in the way that nothing else can. Well, I think that is the unique thing about these clubs. They know their young people really well. And many of these young people are disengaged with society. And sport is extraordinary in bringing people together, engaging them. And once you've engaged them, uh, you can help them with their lives on a broader basis. And sport, the Sported Network is a fantastic collective of thousands and thousands of clubs that all share best practice and all work together for the common good, which is you know, quite remarkable. So in terms of sharing best practice, what goes on here at the running charity, which is still relatively small, it's sort of hand to mouth as we've, as we've discussed, is something which might benefit, I don't know, Club in Aberdeen. Well, exactly. And through our website and through our mentors, through our regional managers, we get these clubs together to share uh, the good ideas. Most of these clubs face very similar challenges and getting them to work together is part of the sort of mantra for Sported. I mean, we're sort of five years into Sported. Yeah. Where, where do you see the next five years? I think there are a million young people uh, that are out of work or out of education uh, and they're the future of the country and there are more than 3,000 clubs in the UK. I'd like to see five, six, seven, eight thousand clubs in the UK all affiliated sported with the government backing that they need. And you've talked about government but it is also private enterprise. These mentors are coming from companies from all over Britain, aren't they? Well, the mentors are vital, uh, but so too are uh, donors, sponsors. Uh, we're working with organisations like Sport England and Wales and Scotland. Uh, all of those organisations are now focusing on trying to get resources to this sport for development sector, and that's, uh, uh, that's the future. I think it's a really exciting future.